Hello and welcome Libras to your uh, November uh, horoscope. Um, I'm sticking to the two decks, the um, Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell and the US Games um, uh, Rider Waite, the yellow box of this one. <laughs> the yellow box. Um, just thought I'd stick to one deck rather than three because that was just too hectic. So let's get into this. Now I've been, this is like two days, like a day later. Um, and I've been to a fair, I've been to work and everything. So it's now Saturday morning and I'm still doing this. So Libras, let's get into your uh, reading. So we have your overall injury is take a break. A life's work, not life, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So you may be working constantly, guys, and you need to like just take a breather. And I want to see what that's a relation to work. So we have the Ace of Pentacles as the overall energy there. Um, so let's get into your we your weeks here. So we we'll go for your first week. Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. You're waiting for an opportunity, but you're still overspending money, I feel. Like you're overspending. You're waiting for this ship to come in. You're waiting for this opportunity. Like you've worked really hard. I know you have. And you're just spending the money you have. Maybe don't do it too much. Like try not to spend too much in the first week of November. Because uh, you might be a bit spread thin. Because um, yeah, you're just waiting for money maybe to come in. And the third week. Now I know we're already in the second week of November. So this has already happened or whatever. Um, yeah, you're waiting. You're still waiting for this opportunity. I'm looking at the other spread. You're still waiting for it. It looks like it hasn't popped up. It could be. I feel like it's work related more than romance, but we'll carry on. So that was the first week. Second week, we have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. You've been heartbroken, Libras. I feel like this person has betrayed you. In, in the second week of November, something has happened. And this person is not what they were seen, what they seem to be. Or they've moved on and you're just like left here on the ground. Like It's like these two have moved on like this. They've moved on. And you're just left there bleed, bleeding. I want to see if you're going to move on from it. King of Swords. You meet someone new, I feel. You meet someone new. Um, not quite yet. But this person is like fending for you. Going, how could you do that to, to, this, this, to Libra? How can you do that to them? So this King of Swords is someone you meet or you become the King of Swords going, you know, fuck, you know, feck romance. I've been, I've been through the battle. Feck it, you know, I'm not ready for it. I'm going to just focus on me. But I do feel like this could be someone else who's a bit more mature. But they're, a, they're just a bit, um, they may be a Libra as well or an air sign. So they could be other air signs. Um, but I feel like they're a Libra as well. And you do... I feel like this person's just coming in to protect you, going, I'll, I'll mind you while these two are over here, like, moving on, not thinking about you. So we'll see, that's the first week. That's the second week, sorry. So that's just happened. So the third week we have the star card and the three of cups. So it gets a bit more happier. We have the three, the star, blah, 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 blah. we have the star card, which is where you're going with the flow of things. You're moving on. Your wishes are coming true, like, you know, your career's going well or you got that promotion. And we see that you're spending more time with your friends, but these are the different friends to what you normally hang out with. Either you've made new friends or you're hanging out with the friends who have always been there before you met the other friends. And I feel like it's more of a feminine kind of friends. Maybe these are female friends or not, but I just feel like for you, Libras, this is a lot of your female friends. Whether you're male or female, Libra, I feel like you're going to be hanging out a lot with your um, your gal pals <laughs> rather than the lads. OK, I feel like that's it. Or, you know, if you have a, um, an effeminate uh, mate who's a lad, it's the same thing. You know, you're just giving a lot of feminine energy around you, I feel. And that's not that's not wrong with that. You know, whatever, you know, to each their own. Um, now we carry on. And the last week of. The last week of November, I know you forgot the month, uh, we have the Fool and the High Priestess. So in the last week of November, you're taking chances, you're taking the leaps of these new these new chances and you're just freeing yourself from this, from this second week kind of heartbreak. You're just freeing yourself from it. And with the High Priestess, you're kind of letting the universe take the wheel. 
you're just like you know what i don't want to know what's coming up that's all i need to know just you 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 take the wheel for a bit you you steer the ship so the high priestess is going to be doing that but she's also like very knowledgeable so maybe you're kind of going back into learning some more and learning to you know um just be content and go back into your work and studies i feel that's what you're doing as well so yeah that's your that's your last week now we're going to go on to your your oracle decks so i have them all dealt out so for the first week we had three of wands and the six of pentacles and for that we have mintakin uh longing for home belonging the original light worker so maybe maybe you're just trying to find a place and you're kind of lost because this that you're still waiting you see and in order to feel a part of a group you're spending or treating them a lot which is not good to be honest but do you know if it's working for you it's working for you so i feel like you need to find your comfort zone in work i feel in a work situation for this one we had the two uh we had the ten of swords and the two of cups and a king of swords where you're being betrayed and heartbroken either you become the king of swords or a king of swords is coming in to protect you because going off oh, that was really that was really shit of what they did uh we have you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north so i feel like this is actually you now because the oracle has kind of the oracle's kind of confirmed it that this is you and you are not you're just overthinking what was wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with you you're already moving forward you're fine there's nothing wrong with you specifically it's just you know it just happens attraction 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 in the third week we have the star card so you're going with the flow of things your wishes are coming true and you're hanging out with more with your friends in a celebratory kind of thing but it's not the friends that were the same with this crowd trust the niggling what is the niggling feeling telling trying to tell you so what's your gut feeling telling you your gut feeling is telling you to just let go and have fun that's what it's telling you to go out there have fun and just you know be in the moment rather than th overthinking everything you know last week was the fool so where you were um taking the leap and going letting the universe take the wheel fill up your well retreat rest and refuel so after you take that leap you're taking the leap to rest have a holiday take some time off do you know like once you get the big project done that you're waiting on uh, once it's done and you get some sort of answer you know it's time to take a break because that's your overall energy you know it's time to take a break libra and it is involved with your career i feel so you know you need to take a break after you've taken the leap so i'll leave that there uh, libras i'll carry on and i'll see you all very soon bye